Palace can leapfrog their opponents in the standings with a victory in this game. Slotted forward by Farquhar. And it might come through here for the trialist. Bright start from the Palace number nine as well. And it could be an early goal. And it is. Dan Imre in the first minute. First attack of the game. And Crystal Palace have their noses in front. The trialist did really well getting into the penalty area. And Imre with his eighth goal of the season. He certainly is a goal getter. He's having a terrific campaign. He's so good when he gets forward from the back this season. But they find themselves in arrears. Palace, superb stuff. They're swarming all over their opponents. This happens at a lot of clubs involved with the academy. Jonathan Walters is a temporary tactical director as well, Premier League legend. Here's Raymond, Palace's number 11. Gathers the ball within 10. Couldn't get the shot away. Imre, yet again. Jack Griffiths, they're looking for him to provide some inspiration, cutting in from the left. It's good this from Stoke. And it's an awkward ball in. What a save that is. And then it's over the bar on the follow up. Mather in the player who won the corner with his shot. Takes the resulting set. Beats the header from Watson. Takes a little deflection and away. Drives it forward, and Imre is off again. Fantastic speed, such a pacey player, such an intelligent player. Imre, the goal scorer, does superbly on the byline. Comes through now for Ume. Ume hits it. Oh, it's just over. So, so close again. Wells Morrison. Ume steers it for Matherin. Roshaw Matherin now driving into the box. Ume started the move, gets it across the face, and no one's there with the touch. An enthralling first half of football. Matherin wins the ball superbly. That's excellent. He's been fabulous so far for Palace. Doesn't get the pass quite right, though. But I think Raymond is going to keep it in play. That's absolutely superb to have the energy to keep that one in. Ume and... Deveni for Umet, good touch, still Umet, and now Raymond's going to get to this one. First time cross, and Danny Imre is up there again. Sadibe and Jeffers dropping deep well, and this is a chance now for Stoke, and they've levelled things up. It's 1-1, and it's Will Smith bursting through the middle. He got the run of the ball, and he applies the finish. Very well indeed. He got a touch to it, did Whitworth. Stoppage time at the end of the first half. Here's the shot. Oh, what a block on the line, and then a brilliant intervention to foil Jack Griffiths. It looks like we are going to go in one apiece unless Palace can go at the other end and maybe carve out a chance might happen with Matherin involved for sure Umet good work oh it's a beauty of a ball oh and somehow the save is made by Brooks Umet Matherin still Rochelle Matherin just a bit too high, he did get a touch, I think, did the keeper. Imre was waiting, or well, maybe it went over both of them. Adler, Nascimento, and Nathan Ferguson, good to see him involved in the squad again. Here comes Stoke, good work by Farquhar, had to get the touch there in front of the loitering Kiki Jeffers, and it's continuing where it left off, really, this game since the restart Stoke going with the tap one and here come Palace oh what a hit that is that's a stunning effort maybe that was a reminder from their coaches Alex Morris and Ryan Shawcross here they come now it's an opportunity now for Jojic great save Whitworth he's done the business again Jojic keeps it alive and it's scrambled away would have to be up there he's kept his good work going tonight Devaney competing with 
Lipsiuk. Uma. A Matherin. Uma wants it back and he gets it back. The Palace number seven. Franco Uma hits it low and it's in off the keeper. And Crystal Palace retake the lead. And it's Franco Uma with the decisive contribution. He started the move, it was played back to him in a great position on the pitch. He's had so many goals and assists this season. He's been a key player for the Palace under-21s. Not Alfie Brooks' best moment. It's gone in off the Stoke City goalkeeper and Palace are back in front. Got a double switch here for Palace. Dylan Reid and Nathan Ferguson coming on. Great to see Ferguson back. Dixon for Sadibe. Imre, who set the ball rolling. Dylan Reid slots it through the middle. Matherin's in. Should be three for Palace. Matherin round the keeper. That's outstanding. And he fully deserves his goal. Roshan Matherin has given a sparkling display under the lights at Stoke City FC tonight for the under-21s. His ninth goal of the season in all competitions. He's been unplayable at times. It was a super ball through the middle. Dylan Reed has come off the bench and contributed well. Matherin, you feel his goal might really be the match clincher. Getting that third has just given them the comfort zone. Here they come again. Wells Morrison for Akinwale. Akinwale, will he go for goal? Unselfishly plays the pass to Matherin, who chips it towards Nascimento. Layoff, Imre blocks. Imre, good touch in a tight spot. And then he tries the follow up cross. Is McGuinness. It's been what might have been for Stoke, the nearly story almost in this game. At 1 1, they look dangerous. Crucial ball forward here. Should be four. Oh, as he say, he's just tipped it onto his bar, I think. The effort from Adler Nascimento, who's been effective since coming on. And that does it. Excellent win for Crystal Palace.